Adventures in No Madness. We're at the inaugural Alaska Escape Rally in Seward, Alaska, 2021. <laughs> All right, we had a great time meeting new friends at the first ever Alaska Escape Rally. And uh, yeah, we got to do some traditional Alaska stuff. We had some moose meat tacos. We had some king yeah. salmon. <laughs> so it was fun just getting together with a couple Alaska Escape folks and uh, you know having potlucks, uh, getting out, enjoying some of the amazing recreation opportunities here. We'll show you some scenes from the, the first ever Escape Alaska Rally. Resurrection Bay and we're on a hike with Phyllis as part of the escape rally and right behind us is this public use cabin over here. Uh, Phyllis got me out on this hike. Didn't think I was wanting to go because of uh, that big long thing I did yesterday. And we even got to see a whale. So awesome out here. Goodbye to our new friends. Yeah, that was we had a really good time at our little mini Alaska <laughs> escape rally. Now we're heading to the sewer, uh, the Sea Life Center, the Seward Sea Life Center. Uh, this was built with funds from uh, the Exxon Valdez, and its main purpose is to rescue wildlife. So after the oil spill, there was a lot of wildlife that needed rescuing and needed help, and the center continues that with uh, orphan and injured wildlife uh, that they bring to the center. And I've uh, been there a couple times and it never gets old. They really struggled this past year without the tourist dollars coming in, especially last summer. And so they had a bunch of fundraisers and a lot of businesses across the state really pulled together to help them because they were, they were kind of in, in jeopardy of closing, which would have been really sad. But we're, we're still here and still helping wildlife and we're going to go even though we've been a couple times because we, we love them and we want to support them. So let's go check out the wildlife there.
Well, everything's pretty good, a pretty easy walking distance around Seward, one of the other reasons we love it so much. But we're walking back to our campsite from the Sea Life Center, and you may notice that this is all along the waterfront. It's all camping. I mean, it's kind of weird, right, that you have this city of about 2,800 people, and the prime real estate is nothing but campgrounds. And I'm sure you're wondering, hmm, why is that? Well, the 1964 earthquake was a massive earthquake and devastated a huge part of Alaska, including Seward. So there was lots of buildings and canneries and stuff along the coast here, uh, right on Resurrection Bay. And then when that 1964 earthquake happened, there was a big tsunami here and it just really devastated the shoreline. So basically what they decided to do uh, after that is not have any buildings along here because of the tsunami hazard and just make it all campgrounds because they have a big tsunami warning sirens. If uh, there's a big tsunami coming, they can warn people and then everybody in their RVs can just drive away, hopefully in time. So it's great camping. This one over here, or some of these have full hookups and the one we're in doesn't because we have uh, all of our solar panels. So you kind of can choose between what you want, but tons and tons of back in camping with that amazing view and midweek so lots of open spaces right now too i'm going snagging it's snagging season here in seward i almost forgot where i was at so there's hatchery fish that come in and they allow you to snag them versus just fishing for them but there's so many of them there's kings over here and there's reds over there on the other side and one guy just caught one over here and i'm gonna go see if i can catch his dinner for tomorrow night yeah, that hook scares the heck out of me. Gotta be careful with that. I bet you the emergency clinic here gets lots of visits because of that hook. Hey, we're gonna go do some exploring on the other side of the bay. We have never been over there, so we thought we'd check out, we've heard there's fishing, uh, a boatyard, and a camping, although it's very much like a parking lot camping, so we thought we'd go see for ourselves, and I hope you'll come along. Well, that was actually kind of a cool trip over there. Never been over there before. Uh, there is a campground over there too we checked out and it's literally a parking lot and I think it's about 20 bucks a night. No hookups of course, uh, but it's all about the fishing over there. So if you want to camp over there, uh, we went and checked it out. And there's a, a spot over there where you can go snag hatchery salmon and we might go try that while we're here. <laughs> but while we're over there, had a very unique experience with Jimmy. He was an indigenous Alaska native and he was just sitting out there, he just come back from fishing and he had a pot boiling over and he, he motioned me to come over because he wanted me to see his uh, uh, bullhead whale that he was cooking up. So got some pictures of that. He even offered to let me try it, but I declined. So it's a main food source for indigenous peoples in Northern Alaska. And so that was great that he had some and was willing to share it. Thank you for following our Seward adventure. We're on to the next spot. Where is it? I don't spot? know. <laughs> we don't have reservations. I guess, I, guess we'll you'll, you'll, I guess you'll have to check out next week's to see where, where? we ended up. <laughs> Happy travels. <laughs> and hit that like button, would you? We always appreciate it. Mm -hmm.